Chad Ike's Courage Barbell coming at you again with some more great information and tips. Today, I want to show you guys the Flying V. Sounds cool, huh? In all honesty, it's really just a Y, but I like calling it the Flying V because it sounds cool. And, uh, well, you know, cool names are important. Not really. Okay, so this is another great upper back exercise. Again, intent, intent, intent. If you want to get the most out of this exercise, you got to perform it with intent. I'm not so concerned with how much weight you have. I'm more concerned with controlling the upper back and getting the full squeeze and being able to hold the positions you need to for a long enough period. When you get into a bench, you're going to need to be able to hold that back tight from the point that you lay down till you rack the weight. If you're relaxing, anytime you're relaxing that upper back, you're losing position, you're losing power. We need our upper back to be strong. We need to have good control of it, and we need to be able to hold it in tight positions for extended periods of time, especially if you're a grinder on the bench. If you're grinding away, as soon as that back loosens, you lost power and you put your shoulders in a more susceptible place for injury. So what is the flying V? The flying V is a Y. It is basically just a Y. But why I call it the flying V is the way I prefer to perform this one. So if I'm standing up and I'm using bands, I'm just going to call that a Y. The flying V is performed in a prone position with a bar or a dowel or whatever you want. Like a 45 pound bar is probably going to be pretty heavy for most people. Um, I have some weighted PVC like this that allows me to change the weight a little bit or add a little bit of weight to it. So let me get down in the prone position and I'll show you guys what we're looking at. Okay, so I'm down in the prone position, which is on your belly. Supine would be on your back, just so you guys know. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hands out up in a V, and I'm going to have my thumbs up. So this bar is going to sit just right here in my hand. I only have my thumb around it. I'm going to get my head down. So I'm in kind of a neutral position on the floor. I'm going to use my lats to depress my shoulders. I'm going to pull my scaps together, forehead on the floor. And then we're going to lift. And during the whole time with these, I'm trying to keep my scapula retracted and my shoulders depressed. Throughout the whole set, I'm going to be doing that. Another version you can do of this is off of a bench, which basically is the exact same thing, but it's going to give you a little more range of motion. So I'm going to come out here. Try to get my head in neutral. Scaps retracted, shoulders depressed. Really focusing on the intent of keeping that back tight. And trying to get up as high as I can get. Okay, so that's the flying V. Really simple exercise, but it does such a great job of working that upper back, the rhomboids, the middle, lower traps, the lats. It's great for the shoulders. It's always, any, even coming up here, trying to get up and you're trying to open up. It's gonna, do, it's gonna help open this up. As I've said in my other videos for guys that don't like to stretch. Okay, this is gonna be a little add-in clip for multiple videos, but I just shot a few videos at one time trying to catch up and get ahead of the game a little bit. But I, I remember or noticed that I didn't really tell you guys how I put these into my training. So this is, it's basically the same for all of these upper, upper body exercises. First of all, intent, intent, intent. 
None of these exercises I've showed you right now today that you won't know because it's the magic of the internet. None of them are super heavy. You're not going to be lifting a ton of weight. So intent is even more important than it always is anyway. If you perform these exercises with intent, you know what you're trying to hit. You're feeling the right muscle groups. Your proprioception is, is working better. You're opening up this, your anterior. They're going to be a huge, tremendous help. Even though it's not heavy, we got to get, we got to get past that meathead mentality that everything we lift has to be heavy. How do I put these into my program? Generally speaking, I would generally speaking, I'm going to say three to four sets of eight to 12 reps, usually near the end of a training session. So if I'm coming in heavy and I got like a max effort bench, I'm going to do my bench, do my triceps, hit my shoulders, hit my upper or hit my middle, middle low back, like a rose, heavy rows or something like that. And then like the last exercises I'm going to do is a couple of these upper back finisher exercises. And that's what I said, three to four sets, eight to 12 reps, kind of going by feel. I'm actually at the point in my career, I don't even count all that often anymore. Like I know what it should feel like. I go till I get the feeling I'm looking for and then I'm done. What, I don't care if it's eight, I don't care if it's 12. I don't care if it's 15. Uh, the other thing with these exercises is a pause or possibly even using a tempo can be very, very effective. What I, I like, to, I'm not really into the tempo thing, I'm more into the, the pause. So when I come up, say if I'm doing a chicken wing, when I come up, uh, give it a good squeeze and a second hold, then down, up, good squeeze, second hold, down, up, good squeeze. As in that, I'll also do some of these exercises for timed. Now, I like a lot of these exercises for GPP sessions and recovery sessions as well because they're not that much stress because you're not using heavy weight, but they're very effective at working the muscle groups. So in those situations, I may do three sets of 30, or I may just do like 100 reps, or I may even just do 30 reps straight through. Uh, I mix it up a lot. Um, I'll do a lot of these exercises. Usually I can figure out a way to do them with a sled as well. So I think that pretty much sums up kind of how I use them and how I throw them into my program. Okay, hey, that's it for today. Please like the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share the channel. Please go to Courage Barbell Unlimited podcast. Lots of great guests. Lots of great information. We're going to keep rolling. I got a lot more guests. I just got to find time to get everybody on. Check out my Instagram, which is Chad Ikes. And I'm going to let you guys go. I am out of here. Bam.